the beauty is getting to go see things that I would have never got to see in the world. You get to see all the patrons in the park actually looking up and pointing and taking photos of you doing your job. It's quite satisfying to see that because you're making their day as well as you know earning a paycheck and making a life for yourself. My name is Jason Prather. I'm a roller coaster painter for Bainham Painting and I make roughly 70,000 a year. I'm hoping to get to 75,000. A lot of our salary is based on overtime as well as travel pay. So we do get an extension or we get a bonus for being out of town. So a lot of my pay is based on that. I grew up in a little town near my hometown now called Edgewood, Kentucky. I never really had an answer of what I wanted to be when I was a child. My childhood was pretty normal. Played a lot of sports, football, baseball, basketball. Rode dirt bikes in the summer, skied in the winter, snowboarded in the winter. My father, he was a traveling salesman selling electrical equipment. My mother, she worked HR for at and My high school experience was pretty normal for most people. I actually did a lot of working on cars and boats, which kind of led me into a painting career. Left there, went to go work for my father, traveling, selling electrical equipment. Just always kind of felt complacent in certain jobs and was always looking for something that would make me happy. Working for my father's company, I was roughly in the 70s. I never got to travel. You know, I worked 15 minutes from home, so I was home at all times and I wanted to see more, travel more, experience more. I would say it really wasn't piquing my interest and that's kind of why I began to start looking for other career paths. So all of our painters are hired in as an apprentice. So there's an extensive training from safety to coatings to rigging. And as they graduate up and through the company, everyone, we hope, will graduate to the point to become a roller coaster painter. Roughly it took me about six months to get very proficient. We hold multiple certifications, everything from an OSHA 10, which is a typical you know, construction type certification from OSHA, as well as we have safety trainings for lifts, confined space entry. I had the certifications for lifts, and that led me to being on the job site, learning how to actually maneuver the lift around the job, as well as the techniques and experience to paint. My hired on position was a general painter. I started entry level, just like most people, and I had a lot of background that kind of leaned on this, which helped me rise quickly. I'm in charge of getting the crew on site and getting them up and rolling, as well as sourcing lifts, as well as sourcing material, paint, sundries. I've been in this position officially for about six months, I did have a background in crew leadership before, so they leaned heavily on that as kind of a uh, proving ground and testing ground inside the company. I do spend about six months out of the year on the road. Over time, I'm probably working about 1,500 hours of overtime a year. So a typical day on the job, it depends on where we are in the process of the job and completion. We like to start usually in the morning as the sun is coming up, so 6 a.m. and usually like to, to keep going as long as the uh, sunlight is good and the weather is cooperating. Typical day you know, starts out with whether you're pressure washing or you could be you know, already into the paint, getting the actual top coat and the finished coats on. Sometimes you're in a lift for 13, 14 hours a day Sometimes you're pressure washing and standing underneath getting rained on for 10 hours. It's kind of shocking for most people, but we're using typical house brushes and rollers to paint these roller coasters. Harnesses, 
hard hats, uniforms, work boots, all that does get provided. So the way we begin these jobs, it all really depends on the difficulty of the project. So sometimes we have coasters that we have to walk, sometimes we have to use ladders, but we mainly start with one process and that's a cleaning. So we pressure wash with 5,000 PSI pressure washers, sometimes the heated units to remove grease and build up. Sometimes we do sandblasting as well. All depends on the condition when we get there. From there, we then go into, they're at the top. The highest I've actually been is on the accelerator at Knott's Berry Farm. The peak is roughly about 225. It's culture shock once you get up there, but once you're up there, it's a little more um, breathtaking. I'd say one of the most difficult coasters I've ever done was a ride at the Santa Cruz Pier. I had to free climb a sheer face coaster basically to pressure wash a dry path for this ride. Travel is definitely one of the huge aspects of the interest for me. Seeing California, Canada, France, getting to go places that a little kid out of Kentucky never would have thought of going to. I've hit most of the big players, Six Flags, Busch Gardens, Kings Islands. We have a great team here that schedules all of our flights as well as our hotels and rental cars. But normally we stay in Airbnbs or hotels, extended stay type hotels usually. I would say we tend to go with the Airbnb. It's one, it's cheaper and easier to get five guys into a house that way. But it ends up working out because we usually get nice big five bedroom houses that have pools. This type of job has definitely helped change my lifestyle. Some of the goals that I personally have for Bain and Painting is to not stop. I want to continue to grow as a person as well as an employee for the company. I would say in order to excel in this career, you're definitely going to need passion. Passion to get the job done as well as passion in your work that you want to produce a good product as well as it doesn't hurt to be not afraid of heights.